Alright, so Pangu released a couple hours ago um, the new way to jailbreak, the new jailbreak tool that they have. Uh, so in the information down below I will have the links to get all the, all the stuff you need. And basically you need two things, the IPA file and the Cydia Impactor, which loads the IPA file into your phone or device or whatever it is. And uh, today I'm going to be jailbreaking my mom's iPad. Um, I have to re-jailbreak mine, of course. Um, the only thing weird about this one is that you have to jailbreak it, or you have to um, load it every seven days. Or else the certificate um, isn't valid anymore. So it does have its limitations, but I mean, it's just, it only takes 30 seconds to do. So, you know, it's a small price to pay. Uh, okay, so this is my mom's iPad right here. And I'm going to show you that it's on 9.3.3. Uh, it's actually hooked up right now because I just finished uh, updating. Uh, well, I just backed it up. Like, whenever I do anything, I always back up. Make sure you guys back up too. And then I restored it. Uh, my brother actually updated to iOS 9.3.3 using the over the air update which you should really never do if you're jailbreaking. It works fine if you, you don't jailbreak, but if you're jailbreaking, you always never want to do that. So what I had to do was back up everything, and then I had to restore the iPad, and then I uh, put all the information back on. So just remember, always use iTunes to restore the iPad. Don't use the settings that are built into whatever device you have, because they won't work. Uh, this... Um, uh, this mini has never been jailbroken, so this is the first time that I'm jailbreaking this one. Uh, like in my other video, my phone was previously jailbroken, and I had issues with this the jailbreak, the new jailbreak. So what I had to do was uh, back all, back up all my information, and then restore my iPhone through iTunes, so I wouldn't have any errors. And then after I jailbroke it, then I put all my information back on. Anyways, so just to show you that I'm on three or 9.3.3 here is the iPad so alright basically what you want to do is like I said first of all backup information restore it I would generally restore it, that way I don't have any issues. I mean, this is only going to take you, what, 10 minutes to uh, restore it from brand new. So I, I would just do that to avoid anything. Anyway, so let me get out of this. Uh, you're going to need two things. I've already downloaded them, but you'll get this out of the Pangu website. So the first one is the IPA, which you're going to need. And then the second one is the uh, Impactor. Alright, so... Here's the website, the Pangu. If you go to, I'll have the link for this. All you have to do to download the IPA is click on download right there. And as you can see, I downloaded it down here. Uh, to get the uh, Cydia Impactor, you just click on this link, and this will take you to this page. And then you pick whatever you have. Either if you have the Mac, Windows, Linux, and uh, the two different types of Linux. And like right here it says do not run as an administrator on Windows 10. And uh, yeah, there's a bunch of little information so you can read that if you want. But I mean this is pretty much really easy to use. So after you download, let me get rid of that. After you download, you'll have these two. If you're on a PC, you'll have these two right here. I've, I've already extracted Impactor, so here we go. And this is the, the IPA. So when you open Impactor, you'll have all this. So what do you got? What do you have to do is basically plug in your device to iTunes. Make sure iTunes is open. And like I said, it's open. It says what it is. It's my uh, mom's iPad Mini 2. What it's on. Like I said, I already did uh, the back. I backed it up. I restored it. I just like doing it that way. You don't have to if. Um, if you don't, if it's not jailbroken, you shouldn't have any issues. If it is previously jailbroken, you, you may not, it's like, I don't know, 
for some time, I've tried it. Half of the time it works, half of the time it doesn't. Sometimes I have some issues, sometimes I don't. I don't know, it's just like random. So, well, in the previous versions of this. I haven't tried it since then, and I don't f want to try it. Just because, like I said, restoring my iPad only takes like less than 10 minutes. I can wait. Anyways, so make sure that it's, uh, that iTunes recognizes your device. And then what you're going to do is open Impactor. Just run. Um, it's going to ask you if you want to update. I would just check it. Maybe they do have a new update, but as you can see, they don't. All right, so what you're going to do here is you're going to grab the... Let me get rid of this. You're going to grab the IPA and then drag it onto the impactor. Then it's going to ask you for iTunes, your iTunes email login. So at this point, you would want to put your your actual email login or if you don't you feel a little bit paranoid and don't want to do that you can just make one up and then put it in but be warned if you do make one up you're gonna have to have remember the the email that you're using and the password because for this jailbreak since it's a semi um, untethered jailbreak you're gonna have to uh, do it every seven days to resign the certificate so just write it down or something uh, the creator said that it's safe, that nobody else is going to get your information, but like I said, if you feel uncomfortable, just make one up, save save it somewhere, write it down, do whatever you have to do. So I am going to put in my information, and yeah, so for this I'm going to put in my information and then click OK. So since it's my brother's my mom's information, I don't really want to put it on screen. So I'll get back to you. Alright, so I put in the password and basically it started doing its whatever it has to do up here. Uh, when you open City Impactor, don't touch anything. It says Android. Don't worry about that. Now right here you'll get this message that uh, this action will revoke or replace any certificate that was associated to the account, which is fine. Uh, if you're not going to start from scratch, like I do, uh, this basically means that it's going to delete the old uh, certificate that you had in your previous jailbreak, which is totally fine because it's not going to be any good anyways, so it's just going to replace it. So it's nothing to worry about. Just push OK. Alright, so it's basically done. That was all you needed it for. Now you go to your settings. So all you have to do is open up your settings. Then uh, you go to general and then you go to device management, right? You click on device management and then it, it's going to pop up as whatever email you used. So this is the email that I used. So I'm going to click on that. Just like before, if you already jailbroke it, same steps. You're going to trust and then you're going to trust. So now it's trust. Now you get out of there. And there you go. There's the Pangu app. So this is exactly like before. Nothing new, nothing different. You're going to click on that. It's in English, which is great. Now you can read it. Remember to always accept notifications. Click on OK. There you go. All you have to do is push this. It even says push the start button to jailbreak. Start button, now you lock the screen. Alright, so now you're going to lock the screen. So here we go, locking the screen. Now like before, it should pop up. It always pops up with that uh, almost full. Don't worry about it, it's normal. As you can see, Pangu it says it's already, uh, jailbreak has already succeeded but still needs a few minutes to install City and respringing. So I wouldn't open it, just leave it closed. It should reboot like before. Since this is the first time, it takes a little bit of time. There it goes. Now it's respringing. So it's the exact same steps as before. Now we're just waiting to see. Alright, opening it up, and there we go, there's Cydia. Alright, so let me open Cydia, 
Now, since the first time that I installed Studio on this, it's just going to take a little bit of time to load all the information, but yeah, there you go. And down here you can see my iPad and Cydia, just to prove that this is an actual jailbreak and I'm not, you know, trying to scam somebody or do something. Anyways, so let's look up, um, what is one, uh, Zeppelin, because I like Zeppelin. Alright, there's Zeppelin. I'm going to install Zeppelin just to show you that it's working. Confirm. Alright, so like I said, you're going to have to do, uh, redo the certificate every seven days. That's just the way it is. And, you know, it's a small little price to pay to have your device jailbroken. Um, just for people that don't know, when you respring, it, it doesn't, uh, you don't have to reinstall Cydia. It's only when you turn off your device purposely or the power runs out and the device shuts off by itself, then you do have to reinstall the, the app and do all that stuff, all those steps. Anyways, so let me open and there you go. So that's basically it. If you have any questions, let me know. If you liked this video, if this helped you, you know, give me a like, share it, or subscribe. I'm gonna be doing a, a bunch of videos on the, the tweaks that I like to have on my uh, devices. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this worked out for you.